Yo, what's up? It, hey, what's up, beep? What's up, beeps? It's your boy. Hey, what's up? How you? How are you, How are you doing? It's your boy. It's your boy, um, Jens. How are you doing? Oh, uh, hey there. How are you doing today? <laughs> I will show you how to play a slide in new drugs by King Cruel. This song was requested by all these people. Thank you all so much for your comments. First of all, I want to give a huge thank you to Joe for his donation to my PayPal. I also want to give a huge thank you to Albert and to Keaton for becoming a patron. Thank you so much for supporting me in this way. It really means a lot. So thank you so much. Yeah, of course, I will show you how to play the chords of the song. I will play the song with chord diagrams up here as I usually do. Yeah, I also will talk about really how the song progresses really. I will talk a bit about the dynamics after I play the song and also how can Cruel play some chords live differently than in the studio version? So yeah, I hope you will like that as well. This song, I will play it in the key of the live version. You can find a very well live version called King Cruel Live on the Moon, I think. And there you also can find this song. Yeah, I will do it in the key of the live version because the studio version is like detuned afterwards. So it's not really possible to play it exactly like that on the guitar because it's, I think it's modified afterwards. So you would have to tune your guitar and like, a very weird low tuning to create that sound so that's why i will do it in the key of the live version yeah that's really everything what i wanted to say uh, feel free to suggest a new song don't forget to subscribe first also check out my social media if you like and i hope to see you after i played the song this song is just in standard tuning and there's no capo so you can go directly into the song As you could see that's how to play the chords first i will explain some ways that king crow plays it live a bit differently sometimes some chords um for example this one 
He sometimes said to let this E ring out. So instead of doing this, he does. Which makes it a bit more dissonant, but it still sounds nice. You can do that at any time you'd like. He does it at random, there's not really an order to it. Then he really does the same thing with the D major 7. He also sometimes lets the uh, E bottom string ring out like this. And even like a few times in the live version, he lets this also this B ring out. The B string. So instead of doing it like this, you do it like that. Like that. Which is also a nice chord, a nice way to play it. So yeah, that's really as far as the difference for the chords of the live version and the studio version. Then the second thing I really wanted to talk about, I don't really want to get too much into the strumming pattern since you could see that quite clearly in the in the full cover I just did because uh, it goes quite slowly and you can see my right hand and you can also play this song at lower speed if you like in the settings somewhere here. But I would like to talk a bit about the dynamics really in this song. I also talked a bit about this in my last video of uh, if you know that I'm lonely but uh, I want to talk a bit about the dynamics in the song and how to make the dynamics a bit your own, how to go along with that. What I mean is that this song I did a guitar lesson on called if you know that I'm lonely, the, the song went really like this. And by that I mean it's, uh, it looks weird but what by that I mean is that first it was very chill, there was not much tension, then the band kicked in and it went a bit more intense, then it went a bit chill again and then it went a bit more intense again and then chill and, and like that. So it went like, it, it waved like that really. So the verses were chill, then the chorus was more intense and the verse were chill and etc etc. And that song only contains really four chords most of the time and as you might have noticed this song also repeats uh, a couple of chords the whole time. They are not four, they are like six or seven, I haven't counted them yet, but um, these repeat themselves the whole time. And like instinctively, you might think that might become boring because repeating the, the same chords the whole time just becomes repetitive. But what this song does so well is create uh, variety, true variety of the playing. So where the last song I played went like this, this song really slides upward so it it starts very chill and and not much tension at all but it it just becomes part by part a bit more tenseful but it creates a bit more tension than the last time the chord progression was played and that's nice to do because when you when you uh, really build up this action this tension it the song stays interesting and there's a couple of ways the band does this and well the most used technique really is that the the other band members do something else. So half of the song, the second guitar starts these very distorted notes and that creates tension of course and also the drums start to play louder and and more frequently once the song progresses. That's really uh, how they create this tension but you might of course think well what's that to me because I'm only playing my own guitar but you, you yourself can also create this tension really along the song while playing only with your guitar. And by that I mean you, you can start very chill like, like uh, King Cruel does, so playing the chords very structured, very fixed and very relaxed really. And once the song progresses and you want to create a bit more tension, you want to make this slide upwards as the song does, this this progression in, in intenseness really. First of all you can do some stuff with the strumming pattern, so instead of doing this fixed pattern you can instead of doing this fixed pattern you can also play the strumming uh, more louder and more rough really like less structured so instead of doing this you can do like that so basically playing it yeah, just strumming louder and also creating some variety in your strumming also already makes a huge difference in how it sounds. Then the second thing you can do that also King Cruel does is to add some extra notes to the chords that make it sound a bit more dissonant. I also showed you those chords, most of them. This one, for example, instead of doing this, you can do this, which also creates a lot more tension. So when you're progressing to the song, you can use that technique really of adding the open E string to create more tension, to create a bit more action. So then it would go like this.
and instead of as you can hear this these small changes already create a lot of difference so yeah that's just a tip i wanted to give you when you're doing the song by your own and you think it becomes repetitive try to add some changes to it by using this technique of adding the e string and also adding the b string to it for this d major 7 also works quite well so yeah that's really what i wanted to give as an advice if you're playing a song by yourself and you want to create some variety in it and this this upwards tension really that the song has you can use these techniques of changing the strumming pattern playing it really sloppy that's really the thing like you really have no idea what you're doing <laughs> like that yeah so that's really what i wanted to say i hope everything was clear mm -hmm.